So the end of the club, you should have about one hand length, three or four inches from the end. Give yourself about three or four inches. And the takeaway, yeah, takeaway straight back, not to the outside, which I think you're, you pretty much did this time. Yeah, I've always been practicing outside swing, outside in. This is perfect. And you take it back straight. And then when you hit the sand, this is critical. You want to keep the face moving, keep the club moving. You can see how he's on his, he's throwing the sand out. And what you did nicely here is came back nice. And the tendency is, I'm going to put a box right on your hips here. Yeah, you raised up and look, you moved forward. All the more reason why I want you to stand further from the ball. Your tendency is to load your toes and move forward during your golf swing. Why? Because our brain seeks balance. You're set up too much tucked underneath with your hips, so your weight's on your heels, and your brain's saying, well, we've got to get you more balanced. So during the course of your swing, your weight's moving towards your toes. So that is why I want you to pay attention to Number one, how far your hands are from your body. We want to give you a little more space. Two, pay attention to where your weight's going because it's going towards your toes. And the reason it goes towards your toes is you sit back a little too much on your heels. So when you set up here, you got your stance wide, hands a little forward. That's okay. That looks good. Coming down, keep that left arm nice and extended, straight. That looks good. A little bit, but uh, you know what? That's not bad right there. That's Yeah, it's already past the ball. Yeah. So I'm happy with that. So big thing is getting you to set up, and this is the part that's uncomfortable, is getting this set up where you're, oops, Got to find a spunker shot here. See how wide her stance is? You got to stay wide with it so you have limited movement. She's going to cock her wrist pretty quick there. Come down, face is going to stay open. And, yep. And the club head's moving faster than the golf ball in that case, so the club head passes. But the face is still staying open. Kept her knee flex. Keep that knee flex the whole entire swing. So you're doing a pretty good job here. It's just I think you're tucked under a little bit. You gotta push your hips back a little bit more. Create some space for your hands. No, I don't mean tuck under, I mean push back and squat. Give yourself enough space here between the end of the club and your body. Yep. All right. 